at all that extra light we have now. Wonderful. I will tell you, that's one of the first things I'm going to have to add back here is some more light. Um, there is only these two side lights. I, uh, I really don't think anyone ever used this camper a whole lot. Unfortunately, I think it sat a lot, which is kind of difficult on everything. Just to leave it sit around is sort of the most difficult on stuff. So, these first few months may be a little trying, uh, but we'll see. We'll see how this goes. Um, so far, I've not been displeased. We do have some stuff to fix that we're going to have to fix that obviously I wish I didn't have to. Um, I really would. <laughs> These light bulbs worked out good. There's uh, I've still got four left, five, five left. So I'm just gonna add them to my extra packs here. It's a nice white, bright light. I'm gonna walk you back through. Okay, so I figure I'll kind of walk through and give you the rear view and you can kind of see how it affects, how the light affects me. Um, and how bright it is as we go from room to room. So we're going through the bathroom now. I'll have to look down because it's messy in here. Yeah. Okay, step on through. I mean, there is just a ton of light in here, guys. Okay, so we're going to do a different attachment. I'm, I'm going to do a different attachment here and move it onto the other tripod and try to give you a 360 view of all the lighting in here um uh, it's this is it's amazing these are gonna be i think really great lights i can even i mean this was this was 90 percent of my light before was just this little light and even if i turn that off it's still actually pretty bright in here plenty bright in fact i would almost say at night I would almost say at night, I'll just run like one of these small lights for some ambiance light, and that'll be plenty. Um, if it's too much, I may put some LED lighting down by the base, um, but they'll just be the little accent lights. Like a great spot would be on each side of the couch, shining in down on the floor. That would be just enough light to you know, move around and enjoy it at night. That way your eyes aren't bothered. You can look, you can sit on the couch, look out over the lake at the sky. That's, that's the plan, okay? And see the stars. I mean, like, that. it doesn't get better than that, does it? That's, that's what we're talking about. It's gonna be gorgeous. So, I've got some upcoming stuff. Um, I've got a couple of camping items that I'm going to be trying out and uh, you'll be able to see how well they work and they go along with my power tools. So we're going to be trying out a rigid hand back that almost works like a vacuum, but it doubles as a shot back and a wet vac. Um, it does, does wet and dry as far as I know. Um, I'll double check on that, but it does wet and dry as far as I know. Let me double check right now. For some reason, it's bothering me I'm saying that. Yes, I knew it said that. So it's a wet dry vac. I knew I read it somewhere, um, but I read about the other one too because it wasn't, it wasn't cheap um, by no means. But if you're buying a brush anyways and you have power tools, uh, if you're buying a brush, a, a broom, an electric broom, for your camper and you already have power tools this does both so it, it'll work with your 18 volt cordless uh, rigid tools and you can wet dry back all day long which is great having a camper and i didn't know where i was going to really stick a honestly the, the brooms in the way so i, I really wasn't sure where i was going to stick you know, any sort of cleaning apparatus, a shop vac or anything like that, because these campers don't have a lot of storage. So this really kind of goes along with specialty uh, campers. So if you're building your own camper, um, 
and you're doing you know something that doesn't have a lot of storage you're living out of a van this is a great option for you to be able to have some way to easy clean uh, if you're in a van i guess you really just go to the gas station when you wash your place you're like i'll just vacuum it out you don't have to have any of that well i do because i'm not taking this to a gas station and trying to vacuum out a you know 28 foot camper so this is a great option when you've got a bigger camper Let's see, what else? Um, I think that's about it. We're just going to have to kind of get this place set up the way we like it. Going to have uh, some storage ideas on here as well as, I don't know if you use them, but I use whiteboards. So in my home, I had whiteboards on the walls, which is kind of how I kept up with everything. I know, a lot of people are like, I use a phone. I, uh... I use my phone, but I'm almost like better to use my phone for a phone. I can never find anything in the phone. It just does not work well for me and myself. So I use whiteboards, but I'm gonna show you how to put some whiteboards up in your camper and how to hide them if you don't want anyone to see them. Um, what else? I think that's about it. So thanks for joining me for the light bulbs. I love them. I'll let you know how well they last down the road. We're going to find out real quick if they're, you know, six months down the road. I'm going to be running these quite a bit. So we're going to find out how long they last pretty quick. And I'll leave you a little review on them. Have a great day, guys. Bye.